Do you know how to use some X function in Power Pivot? Let me demonstrate. So here you can see we have order ID, then product, then quantity, and then we have price. And I just want to calculate total sales here. So how we can do that with the help of Power Pivot? Simply we can select this data set by pressing Control A. We can go to Power Pivot. Then we can click on Add to Data Model and it will create your data set into a table format. Then it will load your data set in data model. Let's click on OK. And now our data set in the Power Pivot screen. And just we need to click on Pivot Table for now. And let's click and we have one dialog box. Click on OK. We will directly get a new sheet with the Pivot Table. And in the right side we have Pivot Table fields. We can go to Power Pivot and create a new measure. Click on new measure. We will get this dialog box, select the table and add a new measure here. So I'm just finding total sales for now. Let's type here total sales. Then what we can do, we can use some X function. First we need to give table. So table name is the table one. Then we need to give expression. So for expression, we can give the column name. So I have to do multiplication of quantity and price. So we can choose here table one price, multiply it with table one quantity, close the bracket, check the formula. So we don't have any errors. Just convert this into a number or even you can convert this into a currency and then you can click on OK. And you will get your total sales. And here we have quantity and price. Here we are getting total sales just by using some X function. So this is how we can use some X function, some X dex function in power pivot. If you like this video, don't forget to share this video. If you have any query in Excel, you can do comment in comment section. If you want to join my Excel paid courses, you can visit my website that is www.shortandclearexcel.in. Thank you so much for watching this video.